live TV. You'll remember our first guest as Ross's girlfriend, Charlie, in hit TV show Friends, also as the host of E! Entertainment's Talk Soup. But today she's saying no soup for you because we're talking food of a different form. Welcome actress, comedian, and San Francisco native Aisha Tyler. Hi, Hi. Nice to see you. Welcome I heard you on the show. radio this morning. Oh, yes, yeah. I made the rounds. You did. You're doing yeah. a great job. Oh, my God, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Oh, my God. And now you're cooking, too, for us. I know. Yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a work day. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to have to go home and, like, you know. Well, you've worked so hard, now you get to eat. And, it's, and I'm excited. Yeah. Really yeah. And you're making something that's one of your specialties. Well, um, I, I'm a big foodie, and I'm, you yeah. know, coming up from, you know, coming up in San Francisco. If you can't help but like just love great oh, restaurants. Yeah. And my big thing is to go to a really great restaurant. If you love something, try to copy the recipe at home. That's oh, like a thing I try to do. It? Try to figure out what's in there, the flavors, the spices, and then try to copy it. Because, me, you know, you pay like $30 or something at a restaurant. And the ingredients <laughs> cost like 30 cents. So you're like, all right, I can make like a platter of this for five bucks. So who's, who's so this is a great recipe. Yeah. One of my favorite restaurants here is the Market Bar down in the Ferry Building. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's beautiful. Sit outside. When the weather's good, it's a perfect weekend for that. Then come see my show. So, oh, yeah. um, oh, what are the ingredients? So these are crabby deviled oh. eggs. My version of the crabby deviled eggs that they have at the market bar oh, and uh, and here are the ingredients okay. Can you list um, them off, just uh, hard-boiled eggs mm -hmm. um, a mayonnaise mm -hmm. uh, this is called sriracha or rooster sauce mm -hmm. it's an Asian an Indonesian kind of pepper sauce it's vinegary it's really mm -hmm. delicious mm -hmm. um, white pepper salt some fresh crab meat like Dungeness is the best but also you can get really good like um, kind of swimming blue crab meat like in, even mm -hmm. in the winter when it's out of season here um, and um, chives and then this last thing is called grains of paradise and it's a grains spice that's paradise. used in like Middle Eastern and African cooking, it's a little bit peppery, a little bit clovey, sweet, really delicious, a uh, little bit of bite, but not too spicy. But um, you, you can get this online. If you can't find it, regular cracked pepper or even pink peppercorns, mm. which are really easy to find no, and really delicious, are now, great. what part of this was your little twist on... The sriracha is my uh, idea, okay, okay. and the grains of paradise. And they, instead of using chives, um, they use those beautiful kind of little uh, baby sprouts, those tiny microgreen sprouts, oh. which, you know, you can never find those. Right. <laughs> yeah. Every time I get sprouts, they sit in the fridge until they turn into like a little mass of anger, and I have to throw like a brick of goo, and I have to throw them out. So chives are easy so to get. So what are we doing? So they're, it's very, very simple. Um, yeah. We're just going to cut the eggs in half. Okay. This is like, this is like really like uh, hors d'oeuvres for doofus. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, well, I can like, do this then. You can do it exactly, and you'll help. Um, and they're really simple. And um, this is a great uh, way to make boiled eggs. I learned um, from a chef, although I can't tell you the name because I can't remember it. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Okay, um, sorry. Put, put eggs in cold water, bring them to a boil, let them sit for, turn it off, let them sit for one minute. Wow. Uh, boil for one minute, then sit for ten minutes, then you just put them in ice water, and you get oh. perfectly boiled eggs without oh. that kind of gray, yeah. crazy yolk that my mother always used to send me to school with when I was a kid. If you had a friend who was allergic to either mayonnaise or to crab, would you cut him just half an egg and let him eat it right now? I would. Thank you very um, much. Friends, my friends, my friends. <laughs> oh, you're going to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't, he can't eat crab. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, good. So. And, you know, you could make this without the crab because mm. the filling is so delicious. So you just mash those up. Okay. And, I'm you know, uh, you. well, if you normally would have a fork, that thing is Oh, let me get a fork. Yeah, get a fork. I get a fork. Um, and you mash up the yolks mm -hmm. and you add two tablespoons. Three tablespoons? I can't remember my own recipe. I'm okay. totally a home cook. I'm like, oh, it's okay. Yes. Yeah, about, let's say like three tablespoons of mayonnaise. And then with the sriracha, I usually use a lot. I love spicy food, but you can just do it to taste. So we'll just do like a kind of like a good heaping teaspoon okay. of sriracha. Ooh, just that mash that all good. together. It's, it's, it's very flavorful. It's very flavorful. It's, it's, it's a little spicy. If you like spicy food, it's uh, not going to yeah. kill you. Right. But it, it's got great vinegar, a little bit of salt. It's got really, really great flavor. You know okay, what I mean? Cool. So it's more of a spicy flavor than, yeah. So you just mash, mash, okay. mash. Right. That's good enough. Okay. And you do all the mashing first so that when you stir in the crab meat, um, you know, you're not killing your crab meat because you want it to stay in little oh, pieces. Oh, look at all these secret tips you know. I am like the crazy home chef. I am the black market. You are? Wow. I know you're white pepper chef. Didn't you and your husband also used to brew your own beer? We did. Well, you know, I mean, you know, the microbrewery thing is huge here in the Bay Area, yeah, right? Yeah. And so when we were just out of college and we figured out that you could make your own beer at home, it was like discovering fire. <laughs> you know, instead of spending like, you know, $6 on a really expensive beer, you could spend $20 and make like a million beers. <laughs> right. So we had these friends and we would all like make beer together and then you'd spend like a day tasting everybody's beer. And in the early part of the day, some of the beer would be good, some would be not so good. But by the end of the day, everything tasted delicious. Yeah, sure, by the end of the day, you it was all just fizzy and wonderful. So once you've got that all mixed together, we're just going to gently, gently stir oh, the gently. crab. So you just want to stir, fold it in with a spatula so that you don't oh, break, you don't want to break up the crab. Look at all her terminology. She does not cook got very it. well. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm like okay. I just I love Top Chef. I watch that stuff. I'm obsessed with it. So that's like my whole life. So, so you, what are your favorite restaurants in San Francisco? Um, do you have any? Besides I do. Market Bar. Besides Market Bar, well, my new favorite is Epic Roast House. I am oh, yeah, all about view. Epic. The view is amazing. The steaks are perfectly cooked there. Oh, okay. Martinis are juicy. Um, I I do love the Ferry Building, and I go there quite a bit, and yeah. I'm a big fan. I shouldn't even say it about the time, I'm going to ruin it. Um, the $1 happy hour at Hog Island Oyster mm. Bar. Oh. I've literally eaten like 100 oysters there. <laughs>
minutes out there tomorrow. There's gonna be a mall. I should tell us about okay, the so show. Okay, so once you've got, oh yes, I'll tell you about the show while okay. we do this. While so, you do this. Um, I'm I'm shooting my one hour at Comedy Central special. Yeah. Uh, I need one more spoon. Oh, you need one more. Yeah, one more spoon. In in the no 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 no. This is gonna be your bag. Okay. Oh, a clean spoon. A clean spoon. Oh, a clean spoon. I'll I'll talk about the show. So I'm doing my one hour Comedy Central special at the Fillmore, and it's big for a comedian, you know, because this is like the culmination of your whole comedy career, your big one hour. Right. And I wanted to shoot it at home because this is where I grew up. This is where I started doing comedy. So um, it's called Aisha Tyler, Girl on Fire, and it's going to be a really, really fun night and um, and a really different night from going to a comedy club because it's really more like a rock concert. Yeah. We've got this amazing set. We're shooting with a million cameras. It's at the Fillmore. It's at the Fillmore. And film it was sold out, but so many people wanted to come that we changed the seating configuration so that we could add some extra seats so that oh. people right. who had been trying to get tickets and had really frustrated and were like running around on Craigslist trying right. to like get that one ticket. We added seats and, and we added balcony seating, so there are a few more tickets left. You can get them on Ticketmaster or okay. you can get them That's on cool. LiveNation.com. Aisha Tyler, Girl on Fire. This is the sequel to her original show, Girl Who Discovered Fire. Ah, uh, yes, exactly. And this is the final. That's the final. Oh, I'm going to over there. Wait, when is it going to air? You, uh, it'll, uh, we don't know yet. We'll find out after okay. we finish it, probably before the end of the year. Okay. So then you spoon it into the egg, sprinkle with chives and a little bit of the grains of paradise, and then stick in your pie hole. The Okay. Is that there. Or your egg hole, depending right. on what you want to call it. Aisha, thank hole. you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, it's such a pleasure. It's just thank good to see you. Again. Okay. Thank Ooh, you. It's good, isn't it? It's good. Come back, bring some of that home brewed beer.